Hey guys, and welcome to episode 6 of my manager mode career with me, FIFA Vic. We are in this crunch match with Wolves. It's us and Wolves at the top of the league. Um, I think it's a four point gap between the rest of them. And um, so it's almost looking a little bit like a bit of a, a shootout between us two as to who might go on and win the league. There's still a long, long way to go, but um, they are, they're definitely six pointers, these now, because. If I win this game, I think I get I get a four point gap over these guys. So, really big game, and uh, we get right into it. Uh, Nuno Gomez pretty much sealing it for us at the end. Another sloppy goal conceded. So hard to defend those second balls, those rebounds. Like if a goalie saves it, or if you block it, or you get a tackle, but it goes straight back to them. It's so hard to defend those. Uh, similar little match here against Millwall. Millwall not doing amazing in the league, and um, a solid, solid 3-1 win over those guys as well. Um, the transfer market is now open, guys, which is very handy because we have just been taken over. Uh, we've just done the financial takeover EA FC thing, where we spent a few Microsoft points or what, FIFA experience points, and we got uh, 50 million to spend on players given from our generous owners. Um, just before that we beat in Charlton. So I've put a few players that haven't really had a look in uh, under my management. I've put them straight up for sale and um, you know a few kids I've gone and sent out on loan and all that sort of stuff and uh, we're gonna crack into making some purchases. Um, I'll show you my squad screen here. Transfer listed a couple of guys, got a lot of guys loaned out, all that sort of good stuff. Um, so we'll keep turning over, you know, obviously I'm not just going to create a huge squad. First person we go after is Ryan Bertrand. On this game, he's sort of, I don't know, he's sort of not getting the credit he deserves on this game really. Um, so he's still quite cheap, so I'm going to rob him off Chelsea before Chelsea realise his value. Um, Jermaine Genus, another guy we're going to look at. Doesn't really get in the Spurs team, but is a Premier League standard player. So I thought that seems like quite an easy um, transfer. Fulham come in with an eight million offer for Jordan Rhodes, and uh, I just reject that. You know, you cannot sell a fella with so much potential who is uh, scoring goals left, right, and centre for you every week. So we've got a few things going on in the transfer market. Obviously, part of that. Um, influx of cash hopefully you guys are cool with that um, it was suggested several times in the comments in various previous episodes and um, yeah I really wanted to see what it was like to get it and if it if it became part of the thing unfortunately it doesn't make a huge song and dance about it which is a shame I wish it had come up with a screen like breaking news um, there's been a takeover at Blackburn or something like that it does make news references to it um, as you go along, like after I've signed a couple of players, it says big spending, new money, Blackburn or something like that. So it does get mentioned and stuff, which is cool. Um, I think when John Rose popped that in the net, it said um, 16 goals in all comps for the season. So uh, he's doing very well. Well, I think we're about 26, 27 games in. So 18 from a possible 27 is a very good return. Um, we're still looking at full backs and defenders. Um, we're looking at Zaccardo uh, from Parma. He, uh, you've probably used him in the game. Actually, he's really solid. He's really solid right back on Ultimate Team. Uh, really cheap yet got good pace and stuff at right back in Syria. Um, Bertrand, we are down to negotiating contract. Very tricky. Um, he's technically him and Olsen are very very similar rated players. So um, them two are going to have to rotate. But he is going to be a crucial first team player. And uh, I've given him a nice long contract as well. Jermaine Genus wanting 11k a week. Um, not a problem under our new budgets. And uh, I think we get an offer in for Bradley Orr, who we don't really have a place for at 67 rated and 30 years old. So goodbye to Brothers. Uh, we see him at another little match to keep things rolling over here. Um, good Willie back in the team, back up front for this one. And uh, we pick up a one-all draw. 
We're not going to win every game, guys. Absolutely nowhere near at the point of thinking that. Um, got a ridiculous offer here for Paul Robinson. He's still absolutely class goalkeeper in this game, so I'm not going to sell him. He's going to end his days at Blackburn if I have anything to do with it. Uh, Genus is all done and dusted. Both of those two guys have signed on the dotted line. Please don't forget to comment, guys, if there's anyone you recommend. Remember, our eight, we're looking to be a stable Premiership club, so anyone who you think will help us achieve mid-table Premier League status, recommend to me. The younger, the better. Uh, newly minted Blackburn Rovers, there you go. That's one reference. It, it makes several other references as well. Um, Zaccardo, the Palmer right back, I think he didn't think Blackburn was a big enough club for him. Um, he looked he looked at a couple of offers from me, and uh, you know he didn't quite fancy it. We get rid of Nunu Hurry, <laughs> and um, but yeah we we get rid of him as well. So we've got a nice little we've got it rolling over a little bit. We've got a couple more targets as well, which we'll see in the coming episodes. Um, the squad won't change ridiculous, but let's put a little bit in for Frimpong Dench Kid to star to star. Um, yeah, we'll put in a bid for Frimpong as well as cover for Ethu. And um, yes, yeah, so there's some more signings coming, but the squad won't change ridiculous. But uh, I've been Vic. Cheers, guys.